comes in waves. Most of the time, I'm okay. And then it comes and hits me like nobody's business. And honestly, I've been feeling like this a lot lately. It, it's love. I am, I'm tired, I'm tired of doing it myself. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. I am just freaking tired. You know, if you're blue pill, it's easy to feel sorry for her. But when you go red pill, you don't feel sorry for her anymore, right? And the reason why is because she did this to herself, right? I mean, you know, she's not an ugly, even as an older woman, she's not unattractive, right? I mean, most of these girls are pretty decent looking, if not attractive, if not hot, even into their 50s. And you know that they had their pick of men their entire lives. They had them lining up like, you know, a, a popular nightclub. They had these dudes just coming, offer them the world and more. Okay, that's something that has never changed throughout history. But these women, they just forego those guys to do what? To chase after the guys who aren't going to stick around, who aren't going to be there for them, who are just going to, you know, leave them high and dry, don't care about them. That's how they end up 53, in her case, 53, and still single. Okay, she, she even said herself in this title here, it says 53-year-old 53 53-year-old 53 woman still wants the perfect man, but she realizes that she'll probably die alone. This is just a common scenario with most modern women today, not just her. Most modern women today are going to end up just like this. The, the data even backs me up on this, right? That most women today are going to be single and are going to die alone, right? The only husband that they're gonna have is big daddy government. This is why so many of those women, once they get older, and they're still single, they're unmarried, they tend to vote left, right? Which is more entitlement, more, you know, uh, raising the taxes of people who are working, more of your money, more, you know, they just want more and more control over your freedoms, you have less freedoms because there are more of these women out there wanting help, right? Uh, but this is, the, the problem here is, um, the same with all of these other women who are still single at in their 50s, right? Uh, they just need to drop their standards a bit. That's the problem. You need to drop your standards a bit. But in, you know, I mean, not only that, but uh, also the fact that they, they date bad men. They piss on good men. That's really it. Right? They piss on the beta brads and the beta providers and the incels and the AFCs of the world all throughout their teens, their twenties, even into their, their 30s where they still feel like they're they're young. Um, and it's not till really they hit their 40s and 50s that they start to come to the uh, awakening that it's over, right? The party's over, the top guy is not trying to hit on me anymore, I'm not getting uh, as many looks as I used to, not getting the validation I used to. I'm not getting free gifts or cash in my, you know, <laughs> cash in my mailbox like I used to. The, the ride is over. And then they sit in their car and cry. I want to be in love. I want to share my life with someone. I want to feel the joys. I want to feel, have my hands held. I want to be held. I want to kiss. I want to support. I want. Okay. I want, I want, I want. But what did you do? to try to earn this stuff, right? You you tell me that this woman at 53, right? Again, she's not bad looking, right? She has like nice facial structure and stuff. Um, you telling me that she didn't have any opportunity at all when she was younger? No, of course she did. She had plenty of opportunity. She put herself in this position. That's why I just, you know, I used to back in the day, just like any other blue pill dude, I would feel bad for this chick, like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, I'll be there for you, you know, and if I was her age, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, uh, once you go red pill, you realize like, okay, what have you been doing this whole time? You know? I want my person. Why is it so hard to find your person? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Why is it so hard to find your person? 
If you're a female who's the least bit good looking, it is as easy as a snap of the fingers to find a person. You know who it's hard for? Men, right? We don't have people wanting to take us home and have sex with us. We don't have people approaching us left and right trying to give their, you know, give us their phone numbers and offering to take us out and to free dinners and, you know, pay our car note and give us free housing. No, that doesn't happen to dudes. There's so much female privilege out there that they just take it for granted. No, it's really hard when love, love is the, the one thing you can't force, you can't, you can't make it happen. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? I'm so ready. And I bro, bro, you've been on this planet five decades. That's half a century. And you're just now ready? What exactly are you looking for that you have not found in five decades? Right? This woman was born in, it was 53. She was born in 1969. Okay, you you were born in the '60s for Pete's sakes. You still you haven't found anyone you could love. I mean, people find their 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 partner in high school, some in friggin' uh, in middle school, like Jordan Peterson, right? Didn't he marry his like middle school girlfriend? So what are you doing that you're five decades in and still single? I always tell you guys the biggest red flag is former hotties who are in their '40s and '50s and still don't have a man have a beautiful life waiting for the perfect man to show up. But where is he? I'm 53. Damn. And I just can't believe that I'm sitting here and it has been several years. I, I think it was over a year I had a date and then it's been several years. You tell me that this chick can't get a date. Again, I mean, she's no model or anything like that. And, um, you know, personally, I would never date her, but... I know the dating market, right? I am a professional dating coach. This chick could get a date, let's see, in the next hour if she wanted to. Even if she just put herself on social, like some of these dating apps, she would have a number of these incels hitting her up. Sad to say, but she would. You can't pick any of those? No, no, I want, I want the chat still, I want the chat. Listen, where are all the good men? <laughs> that are ready and want to build a beautiful life together. <laughs> at 53? No, no. You're supposed to do that at 23. Okay, not 53. But here she is, 30 years later, man. Still out there. Still out there, right? So all those female haters that, like, drop comments in my, you know down below and like oh yeah, yeah we're the happiest we're the happiest single and unchildless yeah tell me about it where are you oh no thank you grandma i'm, I'm fine thank you though <laughs> here we go again there's that really interesting period between the age of like 37 and 44 when you're not old but you're not young but you're not old but you're not young I don't know. Here we are. You still feel young, and you don't feel old, but it's coming at you. Yeah, you, you're not you're not old if you're married, right? If you're married, but if you're out there still dating, you're old, right? It just I always dial it back and compare it to being a professional athlete. You know, at 35, you're some dude. Yeah, you could still run around. You know, you could still like. You, you're, you can still jump and all this other stuff. You're still young at 35. But if you're, say, an NFL running back at 35, you're old. Interesting period between the... Oh, let me recover this. And yet again, here we go. I'm a single mom and I started online dating this week. And I'm telling you right now, it is single not going well. I did the Bumble subscription where basically you could see the guys that already liked you and then just pick from there. First guy I see is this guy that goes to my gym. However, when I was going to that gym, I was about 55 pounds heavier than I am now. So maybe he didn't recognize me. Not sure why he uh, liked me, but... Probably didn't recognize you because like most chicks on these dating apps, you're using about 10 different filters and you look nothing like that in real life. I was super excited about it. 
bummed into these ideas of things to send, and one of them was a GIF that says say hey with a GIF. So I just clicked on say hey, and this stripper pole popped up that said hey sexy, which is something that I would never, ever, 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 ever say. Before I can even come up with an explanation or an apology, the guy deleted me. Next up, we have the situation where I replied to my own comment, which was so embarrassing. Basically, this guy's name was Daniel. I said, hey, Daniel, you know, how's your week going? I went back on the app a couple hours later, and I replied thinking he said, hey, Daniel, how's your week going? And I replied this. Um... And my week is not going any better. But I'd love to know where you guys met your significant others. Definitely not on Bumble or any of these other dating apps. And FYI, Bumble is probably one of the wokest dating apps out there. Uh, because apparently, uh, like, you you can see, or they give you the option, or it's almost forced now, where um, you... No, I think it's still optional, where you could put your gender pronouns. So... 90 probably 95 percent of the women on bumble are using gender pronouns what does that tell you tells you that app is woke to the core son and the last thing you want to do as a masculine man as a red pill man especially uh is date a woke chick you will drive yourself nuts i mean she will you will sit there arguing while she reports she um recounts uh talking points that she got from like the mainstream legacy establishment globalist media right i mean you'll be like just wanting to tear your eyes out at how <laughs> the lack of critical thinking skills she has <sighs> not to mention the fact that i believe on bumble you can only upload like five photos that is just not enough and practically all of those photos are filtered well you know these chicks are just using filters to no core to no end i mean um and also apparently you can't you can't um you can't discriminate at all like if you're into like white girls only or black girls only or asian girls only or black white and asian girls right i mean you can't do that anymore you can't check off boxes like this is my preference or i think even uh i think you can still do age but like ethnicity you can't do that uh and there's some other filters they they took away but Regardless, it's it's a woke app and you don't want to, yeah, you definitely don't want to be there on there as well as be on any other app. You don't want to use dating apps. That's why you want to get on Mastery and learn from the cold approach pickup artist that can teach you how to approach these women in real life. The guy from the gym didn't even need to swipe on her on the app. I mean, she said herself, oh, he's easy. He goes to my gym. He could have just walked right up to her. But anyway... And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out here from my DeLorean. It's incredible, about to take off. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe okay so make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well and for all of you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill gold pill and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program seven months to mastery where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest hottest and most beautiful looking women on the planet I'm talking about eights nines and tens the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world are out there approaching and closing every single week and i kid you not we are making things happen every single week so take advantage of it and this is the absolute best way to support my work so if you want to support me that's the best way to do it and right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons right it's only one dollar so take advantage of it Okay, just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. All right, I'm out. Let's get out of here. Woo! Man, this car has some pickup. And this is coming from a guy with a Corvette. This car is actually pretty quick. Don't be fooled. DeLorean is quick. This is, after all, it's a time machine, right? Woo!
Woo!